breaking news. Boudreaux still isn't fishing. That's what I got on here to tell you. That's the breaking news. If you thought that was it, then you aren't reading the whatever I put as the title of this. And then here at the bottom, breaking news. We talked about this three, two, three weeks ago. We actually talked about it at ICAST. There was a possibility of Major League Fishing acquiring FLW. What does it mean? How does it affect what's going on? Well, today, this morning at 3 a.m., an email went out to media and other people. Hey, Hammer. To media and other people. Let me put this someplace else. I'm going to put you right there from here on out. Media came out. uh, They sent an email out saying that Major League Fishing today has announced it has reached an agreement to acquire FLW, the world's largest fishing organization. The letter of intent sets in motion the most significant brand merger in competitive bass fishing industry. That's what it is. Hey, Steve. It's done. What does this mean for FLW anglers? What does this mean for Major League Fishing anglers? What does it mean for, for bass anglers? So many things to talk about. So many things that are a possibility of the future of the sport. Because that's really what this comes down to. Where is the future of the sport? Does this evolve the sport of professional bass fishing? Well, there are lots of things to start off with. And doing just a little bit of research, because I've reached out to quite a few people already. Some people have come back and have said... I don't have anything to say about it, Steve, and I apologize. Other people have said I'm not happy about it. I even have one friend that said, look, I don't even want to text you. I want to just call you and tell you what my thoughts are. I haven't heard back from him yet. He he has a little son that he's getting ready, but I'm sure he'll call me. Uh, but what does this mean for the new FLW Pro Circuit that they're going to call it? The FLW Pro Circuit. Well, the, uh, let's start with the lower series, like the Costa Series and the BFLs and other things. First and foremost, the Costa Series are going to expand the region from 5 to 8 in 2020, which is great. That means more people in different areas can go um, and, and participate. Yes, two tours by the same company. Well, really, you want to know what what happens, Hammer? FLW has a bunch of series. They have the FLW, they have the the Costa series, they have the BFLs. They have all sorts of them. They're just, I don't want to, they are lower ranked because to get in the FLW is the top tier for FLW, but they have a Costa series. Now, the Costa series is going to expand from five to eight, and they're going to reduce the entry fee for anglers and co-anglers. So that is a good thing. Now, does it mean you're going to mean win less money? We will see on that one. For your FLW, your BFLs, they're going to reduce the fees for all the anglers in that one too. Now, what does it mean for the new? Because they're going to have a new circuit for FLW. Well, they're going to still they're going to expand the tournament to a six-day competition schedule. Here's where you need to. To really listen. The first day one through three, they will bring in five fish and bring them across the stage and allow you to see what they caught. On days four through six, they're scrapping that. And they're going Major League Fishing rules. Something very different, very odd. Um, Not really sure if I like this. From a media standpoint or from a fan standpoint, I know I don't like this. Um, But we'll see if they can make this somewhat interesting and get some drama going in this. They're going to take, they'll have two days with the top 10. There's a whole bunch of stuff. But from, let me just reiterate that. Day one through three, they're going to bring in their five fish limit. Weigh them on stage, get the top five. Days four through six, you will catch, weigh, and release your fish right there. They'll have a marshal on the boat. They will do use that same score tracker deal that they have on Major League Fishing and go that route. 
Also, what they'll do is they're going to pay out down to the top 75 now. I think uh, FLW pays out the top 60. Uh, now they're going to go top 75. So more people are going to make more money. Instead of having the FLW Cup, again, this is the new FLW Pro Circuit, they're going to have an Angler of the Year Championship taking place instead of the Forest Wood Cup. Slightly different. I'm not sure I'm pleased about that, but that's, I mean, they're not going to listen to me anyway. Also, the most successful anglers in FLW will be able to move into Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour. So, yeah, yeah, so that's that's what they're going to do. Does it seem odd that fishing right at the end of ramp days four through six? That's called recycled fishing, and these and these guys do do it. I mean, last year, at when Major League Fishing was here, there were guys fishing right outside of the ramp at Lake Toho, because those are called retreads, and they you can find a lot of fish right there. Now, did these guys do good trying to catch re retreads? Not really. Um, but you know that's how it is. Good morning, Butch. And less probably have a release boat. Yeah, we'll have to see what they have. This is this is this is this is massive news for the industry. I mean, Major League Fishing last year with the Bass Pro Tour really did something that nobody thought was possible. And and, and I got myself into trouble because I said some things that I had heard from other friends and people and m talked about bass and but but really where does wh the truth of the matter is, where does this put the elites? What this does for Major League Fishing and FLW is now they have a new group of anglers that they can constantly revolve in. Revolve in. Now, Bass still has the college series and they have their other series, but a majority of the anglers start off fishing FLW and they move their way into FLW because getting you know there's not a lot of college kids that can just they can do with this. I mean, there's college series and so forth, but. One of the things FLW has done so well in the past, even though they've been unsuccessful money-wise, is that they've they've constantly got new crop of people in. Now, Major League Fishing has taken some of those guys, and so did the elites. I mean, look at this year. Scott Canterbury came from FLW and won the Bass Elite Angler of the Year this year. So there's amazing anglers that fish FLW, but now Major League Fishing has that group of people now and that's less people going into the elites. In the past, the elites have opened up their their southern opens and so forth, so that if you part if you participated and you did well enough, you could move into the elites. We know for a fact, Major League Fishing doesn't want their anglers fishing any bass tournaments. So where does this leave bass? Oh, hold on. Here's real breaking news. Hammer got his new trailer. Congratulations. Actually, I started off this thing saying, breaking news, Boudreaux still isn't fishing. That was the breaking news. Good morning, Ray. Tally Ray. So this is, this is unbelievable, to be honest. I've written down some notes. So what do we think of the new format? Do we? What this does is, one of the things that Bass did this year, and like it or don't like it fish coming across the stage brought out thousands and thousands of people thousands of them at the elite tournament in whatever the first one in st john's way up there in palatka this year i have never seen a crowd of people like that now i came from major league fishing's first of inaugural event there at toho and their first event brought in 20 or 30 people that were at the, the event during the day. Then you go to St. John's where there's a lot of people that, that, that don't know about what, don't know these anglers. But they brought out thousands of people. And I'm not talking, I'm, I'm serious when I say that's not an exaggeration. There were thousands of people at the, the bass event. And I think that's one of the things that's missing with Major League Fishing. But we know the results. And Major League Fishing, we have to remember, is designed to be a television show. To get you ratings on television. And what they've done... Hold on. 
I'm just surprised that people text me saying, did you see that they don't, I want, I want to, mm, I want you to know, look at this. Boudreaux sent me a text just now that says, did you see FLW acquired, MMLF acquired FLW? You would think that he would know that this is, I am doing a live video right now. Oh, God. How do you do, Joe? So, where does this leave Bass? How is Bass going to get new people involved into into their elite series? Also, you want to know what this is also good for? Is Major League Fishing now has a place for the guys that aren't cutting it in Major League Fishing that they can push them down into a different series, and those guys can, conti can continue to fish professionally and make money. Because let's be honest, those if you're not in the top 50 of the major league fishing really it's 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 a crazy thing yeah how, how is he not a subscriber what up hank thank you les anyway it's this is this is amazing news for the industry and there's there's really so many questions so we talked about it new format for flw i mean days four through six are going to go through the major league they're going to use the Major League Fishing tournament rules. I don't know if I like that, but that's how they do it. But how do they, how now how do MLF and FLW attract the fans to show up at the tournaments? Do they not want us to show up at the tournaments? Because the live, not weighing the fish there in front of us, is not going to attract us to get out there. There's got to be something done about that. That's case, that is without any problem, case in point we have to do. Next. How will the anglers get brought into Major League Fishing, and who comes down? Because let, this is this is one of the things that we've said and we've talked about on the radio show. The, the you've got Skeet Reese at sixty two. Can you put down Skeet Reese into FLW and have him new be part of the new FLW Pro Circuit after three years? I mean, if he's in the bottom, he should get pushed down. But how do you push down someone like that? Um, so we'll see who gets pushed down. But this gives Major League Fishing an opportunity to pull some people down and then pull some people up that are also the thing. Now, here's here's one of the things that I've talked to a bunch, a bunch of friends. There's a lot of guys that, like I said at the beginning, there's, that they're not happy about this. But now they're going to have to make a decision. Are they going to stay with FLW and continue working with FLW and then hoping that they get brought into the MLF schedule? Or are they going to jump now into the elites? So really we're, what we're going to see during this off season is I bet we're going to see some of the anglers automatically get moved over to the elites. They want to, they might not like Boyd. Uh, you know, Boyd has a lot of detractors. But I'm going to tell you one thing about Boyd. He's the smartest man you will ever meet. This guy is a flat out genius. He tells it to you straight. He isn't going to Now sometimes Boyd will work his way around a question because some of the things he can't just go out and say. He's got sponsors and he's got things that he now Boyd has a lot on his plate. But Boyd is a genius. That is the truth. Like him or don't like him. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you, the man is a genius. What he's done with Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour is not even, you can't even do it. Chris says, Bass will be bought within the next three years. I think it's going to, I think it's going to happen. That is crazy. Bass was in Michigan last week and I didn't go. And why? Because I don't want a lot of these guys, I didn't know a lot of the guys, but watching the event. Yes. Well, the truth is, the Chris, uh, I I can put this up, Chris. Holy cow, Chris, that's a lot. Anyway, uh, hold on, let me see if I can just make this a little bit bigger, like this. There, how's that, Chris? Everyone can read Chris's stuff right now. You want, I'll put it right over my face. Uh, Major League Fishing tried to buy, uh, tried to buy Bass three times, three times before they started their own tournament. There is. Uh, a lot of stake. Uh, how can I say this? Uh, there's um, there's a lot of stakeholders in bass that have uh, 
staked. Oh God, I could get in a lot of trouble here. Uh, I don't know how to say it to be honest, without getting myself in trouble. Um, there's there's stakeholders with Bass, and and they have uh, they need to get a lot of money out of Bass to to be successful. Uh, I think. Um, but Bass did Major League Fishing tried to buy Bass several years ago. And they tried three times. It didn't work. That was why made why Bass started. One of the reasons uh, Major League Fishing started the Bass Pro Tour. So, um, yes, it will be it will be called the FLW Pro Circuit from here on out. Um, they'll they'll still have the Costa Series, the BFLs, and all that stuff. But the the main one uh, is, is that Chris, uh, Chris. In all honesty, you're not putting me on the spot. There's things that have been told to us. Um, because we have friends in the in the thing. Like even this weekend, I, I saw Shaw and I saw Bobby and I saw a whole bunch of other people that were. I, I saw J T. Kinney. I mean, I, we we talk as friends, as colleagues, as someone who's a a major fan. And a lot of times they they open up to you, and you know that you can't really explain some of the stuff. But the thing about Bass is Bass has owners. And they should have sold to Major League Fishing years ago. Um, but it just didn't work out financially. I guess that's the best way to put it. And they need to get a certain amount of money out of Bass to, to recoup what they've put into making the elites as successful as they are. And that's where things get a little sketchy and a little weird. So, anyway, Major League Fishing, FLW are now one team and uh, I have my little yellow pad here so so how will anglers get brought into major league fishing when it comes down to it um, we know that that they'll move people in and up up and down now and that's a good thing so now where does we talk about where does bass get their new talent their college series has always been really good but FLW has been a, a great uh, in my eyes um, Chris you're not the only one that says this there's a uh, there's a lot. Chris says uh, that uh, it stinks in his eyes. I can't watch MLF. Too boring. The thing that MLF does great is that there. It's a constant fish catching thing. Now, I I definitely believe that. I don't think. Hey Ray, I don't think Boudreaux knows that we're even doing this live. So, I'm just saying. Um, I think one of the things Major League Fishing needs to do is they need to figure out a way to get the fans more interactive, and they need to pick better places to go fishing. I think that is why this year they are really slow on where they're going. I don't know that for a fact. I don't know. I know they have the schedule already already done. I know that for a fact. Where they're going, no clue. I do know I need them in Florida. That's the truth. I need one tournament in Florida. And Boyd, if you're watching, please, for the love of God, make sure one's in Florida. Uh Yeah, I mean, so what happens if in Major League Folds, stats say they, as year went on, less people were interested. Um, if you look at the stats, Chris, great, great comments, uh, in all honesty. If you look at the stats for um, Major League Fishing, their views uh, online are stupid. They are absolutely ridiculous. Um I only know that from things that I've seen and things that they've put out and th and things that anglers... Uh, oh, it says Boudreaux's watching. Well, welcome, Boudreaux, for watching. Um, and that people... And that and uh, that they've put out and that anglers have put out to get sponsorships, which is a whole other thing. We, we haven't even delved into the conversation of... Where does where does this affect sponsorships? Now, Major League Fishing and FLW being combined, there used to be three tournaments, and people had to go. The, uh, a, a, a sponsor had to break it down to three tournaments. Now, two thirds can go to Major League Fishing, and a third can go to Bass. Where where does this affect the anglers? Um, where does it affect the sponsorships that participate? Because that participate in the whole event because what we've seen is major league fishing has an amazing online present uh 
Yes, because they do it. I, I'm distracted by this. Butch says, by the way, I read it is the stats are so high because it counts every refresh. Uh, yes, I know they all do it that way. Chris, again, great, great thing, great comment. I'm t- uh, on. I know from uh, Angler Statistics that they all purchase so that they can say how many impressions and how much each thing that each minute is online is worth to them. Major League Fishing has dominated online stuff. Having said that, I've said it on the air. I prefer the bass tournament but this isn't about that this is about where does major league fishing and flw where do we combine we know now that they're they've acquired each other um and major league fishing is as less said is just going to get better and better we need they need to pick better places to go fishing and that's what they're going to do um it's going to be as chris said it's going to be a great it's going to be a great off season I mean, we caught grief because we we talked about this last iCast, that we were spreading rumors. Unfortunately, you want to know, every time we say something, it comes true. So, mm, I won't even go in there. Take that. Anyway, this is exciting for the industry. Another great... Boy, Duckett's done it again. I mean, can Boy do anything wrong right now? Major League Fishing, FLW now are combined. They're now Major League Fishing is now the biggest fishing organization in the world. They have the most anglers that are going to participate. They're making the most money. Their online stuff is killing it. And this just throws a wrench into bass. And I'm not trying to say anything. And let me just make sure I say that. Because I don't want someone to come back at me at the first tournament. I'm, I'm talking smack about Bass. I'm not talking smack about Bass. I think what Bass did last year was phenomenal. Phenomenal. I enjoy the Bass series. I enjoy watching the five fish come across. I enjoy that. But Major League Fishing is 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 changing it up, man. This catch way release is 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 the future however i'd like to see him catch way release but anything over like six or seven pounds you bring to the table and then show everybody that giant fish let's say anything over eight pounds you bring to the weigh in and just show that stud fish that's what i'd like to see but i'm not part of major league fishing so i'm just here to tell you what i know oh Having said that, let me cancel this because I just got a very important phone call. So take a kid fishing. Hold on. Get your fish on. Maybe you'll see me after this. Later.